Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Marian Duale. I am the co-founder and executive director of Global Health Education and Development. Um, I am very grateful that you joined us today, and I apologize if we're running a little bit behind. It's a Saturday. So, <laughs> yes, and uh, so today I will just briefly uh, give you an overview of what the event is about. I'll introduce Global Health Education and Development and myself, and I'll talk about the purpose of the event, the, our funding sources, uh, why we need this event, uh, what's the goal, and who is all here to participate in this resource uh, fair. So as I mentioned, I'm the co-founder and director of Global Health Education and Development, uh, short for GHEAD. GHEAD is a nonprofit organization. It was founded in, back in 2011. Our focus is to improve access to health and education for immigrant and refugee communities. Um, we focus on that because the co-founder and myself were both in this space where we were helping a lot of communities with accessing health care and education and other essential services and we've realized that there's an information gap and that's what drove us to um, um, found this agency and to focus in this area. Um, one of our big programs, I can't go over all of our health and education programs, but one of our uh, main health programs is mental health and substance use and addiction awareness. Um, advocacy, community education, and referral to services. We are waiting for certification to provide uh, direct services, but we do not do that right now. So we enjoy bringing resources together and uh, breaking those resources down for the community and connecting them to those resources. Um, so this event, how many people know that September is the Recovery Awareness Month? By show of hands. Okay, so I'm glad we're here because a lot of people are not aware that September is uh, Recovery Awareness Month. So this event is for that. And the whole idea is to provide awareness about the importance of recovery and to connect people to services that can ensure their success through recovery. So as I just mentioned in the last, since 2011, but more so since 2019, we've been focusing on mental health and substance abuse and addiction awareness. And um, we were trying to battle the stigma against the mental illness and substance use and make sure people recognize that it is like any other disease and that they get treatment. But when you get treatment, what, what, what's next? Like people do not stay in treatment. And the reasons they do not stay in treatment is the infrastructure and the services for them to continue that treatment is not available or is limited. And that's the recovery that's why we're discussing that. We need recovery support in order to be able to be successful. Um, so this, that's, the, uh, that's why we're doing this. Um, this is supported 100% by the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services um, with uh, the opioid funds. Um, if you know, we are in opioid crisis uh, nationally, globally, nationally, and uh, statewide and locally. And specifically for immigrant and refugee communities, we're dying silently with addiction and substance use and mental illness. Um, so that's why this is important. <coughs> um, as you all know, um, I just mentioned that we're in crisis. Recently, uh, MAC, um, another agency here in Columbus, did a study with collaboration with other universities and they found that 24% of Ohioans are dealing with one, are living with one or more mental health issues. And those 80, 38% or close to 40% of those that have mental illness also have substance abuse and addiction. So these are two issues that are really touching in every community, all Ohioans, regardless of faith, culture, color of your skin, and that's why we have to have these discussions, even though 
Sometimes some communities might think that's not the case, but this is really is indiscriminate um, when it comes to who it affects. So the goal today, um, others will be here at this podium going more in depth, talking about uh, their services, but the goal for us today is one, for us to understand what recovery means and why we need recovery support, and two, to provide a space where we can share resources. So then once you learn this is an issue or something we need, then you have to know where to get the information you need. And this is exactly why we're here, is to share resources. And so if you, as you are coming in, you are seeing the tables out there, we have a lot of providers out there, and many more that really we had to build this together in a short notice. We have many more resources that we will share with you in the future, inshallah, but they're, they're, the vendors are out there right now, and I will name them in, in few. And those uh, providers, um, so support and recovery support is not just about getting medication or getting therapy or stopping substance use. It's about having housing. It's about having a job. It's about having enough food. It's about having healthcare services. And these providers work in these spaces. They ensure those that are recovering from mental illness or addiction and substance use have the services they need in order to stay in their path of recovery. And the partners that are here today include Unique Foundation, um, Dr. Duale will tell us a little bit what they do. He's here with us. We have our helpers. Dr. Dorothy Hassan is with us to educate us about their services. We have Bakai Ranch. Uh, Nafisa Jamale should be joining us soon. We have Alfis House. Donna and her team will tell us what they do. We have Community for New Directions. Um, we will give them opportunity if they want to come up and say a few words. If not, we have the uh, flyers out there. And then we have Nami Franklin County um, here with us. And Regina is also going to be part of a discussion that we will have, inshallah. Um, also, we have with us today two other, uh, three other organizations with us, four actually, um, that do not have tables out there, but they're amongst you. Uh, including the uh, Ohio New American Commission. We have the executive director, uh, Dr. Ibrahima. He will be introducing what that is. That is an entity that's supposed to advocate for all New Americans and understand what's going on with them and looking for resources. So we, in the future, will be looking to him and his team to really provide us the services we need. We also have uh, uh, Brother Deba here with us, uh, the New American Magazine. He'll tell us a little bit about what that does uh, for us. Uh, we have uh, Sabak, and we have uh, the whole team, and Abdurrazaq Ahmed is here, the director. Uh, they're also trying to mobilize the communities and make sure people are engaged and politically involved. And Recovery needs policy, it needs funding, it needs support in every level. So we need those that are working in policy, those that are working in housing, healthy care. So it's really a holistic approach. We have Abdi Shakur and, and his team, Talawadag, and um, are also here with us. Um, and also this event was put together with the help of Somali Can, and we have Dr. Jabril here as well. Um, so yeah, we have a full house of resources, and you will hear a lot about those, and I thank you all for being here, and that's my spiel. Thank you. <laughs>